Strong shift, guys. Strong shift. And you can see here from the scoreboard, it is 6-1 gold thus far. We are just about ready to begin the third period. Here in Juan and Gymnasium, third period underway. Iron Man gold, six snake eyes, one. Two goals for Angelo to lead the way. All other goals have been solos. One by Abe, one by Etienne, one by Amy, one by Tony. Jess gets credit on the other end for a shorthanded goal, but that was more of an own goal than anything else. We had to give a credit to somebody. Etienne, no, Tony, I'm sorry, with the shot out is blocked. Now Tony trying to play it up. Instead, Joe has it, but Joe only plays as far as Pat. Defensive muck coming in, and Brian will just fall on it. It looks like Chalk will hold up in the quarterfinals, just as it has all season. No surprise for anybody who's been following the DCHL, and if you haven't followed the DCHL, why the heck aren't you here? Now Tony. Gets it past Ron, he's gonna bring it around the goal, look for a wraparound. Shot by Abe, goes over everyone. Just like for the corner, but Tony is there. Gets it to Pat, Pat with the shot, that is stopped by Brian. What a save. Amy keeps it in, he's gonna give him another shot. Ron plays it up to Joe, nothing there, rebound, that's gonna be tipped wide. Brian with two big saves early on. Now Tony plays on the cat. He's going to shoot. That goes wide. Just trying to clear it. Up to Ron. But they're going to roll it. Gavin is offside. Just plays it forward. Roger touches it. It's not a shot, so there's no stoppage in play. Etienne back the other way has a chance. Etienne recovers in the corner. It's a high bouncer, gets to Pat, shot saved by Brian. Rebound goes all the way out to Amy, He'll, she'll shoot, that's blocked by Ron. Pat looking for Etienne, can't quite get it to him. Now Etienne playing it up as far as Chris, Chris able to keep it in. And Chris misses on his first try, second try gets it just past to Angelo. Angelo looking for the hat trick here. He's gonna fire from wide, stays wide, followed through by Etienne, that is stopped by Brian. Now into the middle, unable to get anywhere. Instead, it is Gavin trying to make forward, but Angelo has it. This ball rolls out. Gavin is offside. I don't know if he realizes it. He does not realize this, but Snake Eyes has no. Now everybody retreats. Etienne looking forward. Around the net they go. It is to Kelly in the corner. Both Kellys on the floor right now, as are both Chris's. Chris for Snake Eyes can't get it past Angelo. Now Gavin this time onside. But has no help. He's going to take a chance. It's blocked by Angelo. Chris plays it forward to Rishi. Swing and a miss, and Roger tips it into the net where Kelly for gold is there first. And they're going to rule it. They get a free play. 12 minutes left in the game here. Score is 6 1. Behind the net to Chris. Chris playing it up to Etienne. Etienne back the other way. Etienne with a shot, and that's a goal. Cleared out of the back to Chris. Chris finds Etienne. Etienne able to weave through the defense. Fires a laser beam that Brian can do absolutely nothing with. That is his second. It is 7-1. We have 11 minutes, 25 seconds left here in the game. 7-1 to gold. Now played forward and tipped away by Brian. Gold in the corner now. Looking for a player. It's it across to Chris. Chris is going to shoot that save by Brian. Rishi tries to clear. Ball is loose. Phil gets it. As far as Tony. Tony trying to keep it in. Phil has position. No, but it goes to Chris past everybody. Chris now looking for a player. Kelly up top. That shot is blocked by Chris from Snake Eyes. But Tony is able to prevent a break. He covers it. Plays it forward. Now Kelly of Snake Eyes is being run down by Angelo of Gold. Puts it into the net to get a free play. Very strategic play by Kelly there. Up to Phil. Around Kelly of Gold. Chris tries to get it around Pat, cannot do so. But it clears anyway. Angelo has to make the long run back. He's able to do so. Tony with a shot, goes wide. Angelo now. Bring it up to Tony, there's the shot, that is in. Angelo recovers in the corner. 
breakdown by the Snake Eyes defense. Tony is able to get the goal. That is his second. Three players on two goals for gold, and it is 8-1. That is the 10 minute mark now left in the game. It is 8 1 gold, 2 by Epion, 2 by Tony, 2 by Anflo. One more for Abe, one for Amy. Jess on the other end with the uh, consolation goal. Wait, Abe looking for two. He's going to get it. The fourth player to achieve two goals in this game. It is 9 1 now. Tony passes to Abe all alone in front, and that is an easy finish. Snake Eyes defense appears to be getting a little disheartened, and this could be where the score gets ugly. This one is knocked aside. And Amy racing Joe to the ball. And Amy will be given possession. Played behind the net. Nine minutes left in the game. Here it is, 9-1 in favor of gold. So they have just taken over. Abe is in an offside position, no call is made. Shot is saved by Brian, that'll lead to a face-off. I'm a little surprised by that one. No, no, they're gonna say that it was indeed an offside call. Here's the referee was overruled. And we are going to have a face-off now in the gold defensive zone. It will be Abe and Joe taking it. Abe lobs this one past Ron. It's able to keep it in, though. Plays it forward. Looks for a shot, but Pat tucks it away. Off of Chris. Now Amy trying to play it forward. Get it around Janelle. Cannot do so. Etienne does, however. And now Ron trying to play it deep. This one winds up going harmlessly past Chris into the corner where Amy gets there first. Amy moving around instead. Joe has it. That's blocked. Chris will follow. Nothing there. Etienne has it. He's going to play it up the other way. Once again, Abe is offside. This time he does not shoot, which allows the play to continue. Gold resets as Amy gets to the ball first. This one to Pat. Pat is going to look for a play. This time gets it to Abe. This time the ball crosses without any controversy. Oh, Janelle slips down. Cannot defend Abe. But Ron is able to keep it from disaster. Ron playing at four, gets past everybody, forces Roger to make a play on the ball. And on top of that, the, the run by Joe forces a face off. Well done, Snake Eyes. About seven minutes, 30 seconds left in the game now. 9-1, two for Etienne, two for Angelo, two for Abe, two for Tony, Amy with one of her own. Jess on the other end, it is 9-1. Now Angelo looking for the hat trick, but Phil's able to keep it away, and we have a spill. Phil once again going so far all out. He is known for that. Now he almost pushes his head down in the process. Gains the ball, but only as far as Chris. Chris tries to play it to Etienne. Etienne recovers it. Now it's loose in front, unable for Angelo to get the hat trick. Phil looking for Ron, able to make the timing run just right. And what? We have a whistle here. And we're trying to figure out what the call is. Uh, maybe it wasn't timed perfectly, but. Offside should have waited until there was a shot. I, I'm not quite sure what happened here. Anyway, face off in the Snake Eyes zone. Ron recovers it. No, it's stolen away. Etienne with a shot. That's saved by Brian. Followed by Angelo. Safe. Pop up. So he's going to land on top of the net, and Brian will fall on it again. Almost 10 1 on about six different occasions. But it does not, it is not meant to be. Now face off this time won by Gold. Just swings it around to Kelly. Kelly tries to pass it in. Nothing there. Etienne behind the net. Plays it up. Can't get it. Going to try to bring it around the other way. There's a follow by Angelo. Saved by... No, they're going to say it. He beat him to it. That's the hat trick. Etienne plays it in front. For a second, I thought Brian had fallen on it. But Angelo did indeed get it through him. He gets the hat trick. And Gold gets a 10-1 lead. We have five minutes, 45 seconds left in the game now. Gold just, at this point, really just padding the stats here. Angelo gets his hat trick. All three basically the same way through pure effort. Etienne and Angelo, now he's gonna take another shot. That goes wide. Etienne follows. Follows again. This one is knocked down. Angelo looking for four. Can't quite get there. He's surrounded by Snake Eyes. Played out now to Chris. Chris over to Kelly. Can't quite control it. 
All goes into the corner. Jess is there first. Trying to play it up to Ron. We have Chaos in front. Gavin recovers. He's going to take a shot. That's blocked by Chris. Ball is loose. Goes left. Back the other way. Now Etienne has a two on one the other way. Plays it up to Angelo. Angelo puts on the brakes. Looking for a man. Can't play it there. He's going to take a shot. Fires. This one's tipped wide. Brian didn't see it, but his head did, thankfully. Loose behind the net, though. Angelo has it. Angelo up to Kelly. Kelly will shoot. This one tips off of Ron. Straight to Angelo. He shoots. Saved by Brian. Amazing it's not more than 10 to 1 the way that goal has been peppering the net. But that said, you can't argue that the better team is going to win this game. Face off now, controlled by Abe. Abe looks for the hat trick. That shot does not get through. Cleared by Ozette the other way. Amy has it in the corner. Playing it up to Abe. Abe and Tony both on two. Shot by Abe goes wide. Brian trying to recover. Chris Long behind the net. Covered first by Uzed. But Abe is able to chase it down. Tries again. Nothing there. And Uzed the other way. Can't quite reach Gavin. This ball goes well into the corner. Gavin and Amy fighting for it instead. Tony has it. He's going to shoot. That one, not a high stick, and over the net. Abe now. Away as far as Gavin. He'll shoot. That's blocked by Amy. Gold is able to reset. Tony now, he's going to take a shot. When it's tipped away by the set, he's going to go the other way. And it looks like that ball cleared, so Gavin has to come back. Now Pat playing it forward. And now Gold is off the other way. So they'll have, so now Snake Eyes has a chance to reset. Playing it up, but only as far as Pat. And now this time, perfectly legal for Gold, but Tony had to come back from the first play. Now Kelly with it. Tries to lob it, saved by Pat, kept in. Pat to Tony, Tony has it blocked by Uzed. Ball is loose, Amy can't keep it in. Has to play it out. As far as Pat, now Tony trying to bring it back. Does so, Abe with a chance. Tries to get around two men, cannot do so. This ball is gonna go out. Ball officially across the line, so gold resets. Now Pat up to Abe, taken away. There goes Gavin with a shot, big save by Roger. This one gets away, Abe now, he's got a chance, he's gonna shoot safe by Brian, follow up by Tony. Brian is going to fall on it. And deny two different players a hat trick in the process. Two minutes, 30 seconds left in the game. Some confusion as far as substitution for the Snake Eyes, but they now have their full line out there. It'll be Tony trying to play it back to Pat, cannot do so. Phil is able to play it up. This ball is going to be wide. Roger tips it even further into the corner. Amy now trying to play it up only as far as Phil. Now Phil has it in the corner. We'll get possession with two minutes left in the game. What has been a disaster of a game for Snake Eyes. Janelle unable to keep it in as Pat knocks it away. Pat was control in the corner. Trying to play it up, but Phil takes it. Now this one is knocked out. Kelly unable to keep it in. Gold resets. Bring it up to Abe. Abe looking for Tony, but it's tipped away by Janelle. Fight for it. Rishi is able to get there first. This one goes the other way. Kelly recovers. Rishi putting on pressure. Kelly gets a pass. Rishi up to Tony. Tony to Abe. Abe gets it around the final man. He's going to try it. No, he's forced wide and can't get the shot off. Now who's that the other way? Chris has it in the corner. Chris and Phil run into each other. No tip advance, no penalty. Big shot by Tony, saved by Brian. Abe follows that save. You should have the way, but only as far as Tony. Chris keeps it in. Tony fakes the shot. Good try again. Second try, this shot goes wide. Abe with the follow. That is tipped away by Uzed. We are down to the final minute of play here in this game. Now another shot by Tony. He still can't get the hat trick. Back the other way, nothing happening. Gold keeps it in. Snake Eyes debating. Yes, the Snake Eyes have pulled their goalie. They have an empty net. Now, Gold trying to get that extra goal, cannot do so. Ball goes out. Reset by Gold. There, it'll bring everybody back. About 30 seconds left in the game now. No goalie for the Snake Eyes. Brian has been sent to the bench. Angelo now, he's going to look for four. It's around everybody. Tips it forward. Uzed playing an impromptu goalie. Nick knocks it away. About 20 seconds left in the game. Fight for it in the corner. 
keeps trying. Instead, it is going to go to Ron. Ron looking, but Kelly is able to get there first. And with 10 seconds left, this is pretty much going to be the end of it. Does not look like Bold is going to get that empty netter. Wait a minute, Angelo's going to try. This one goes high, though. And that's it. That's it, 10 1 final. Chalk Bolts in the quarterfinals, Gold 10, Snake Eyes 1.